Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ubuntu Week. Yes, today is day two of my week-long Ubuntu uh, retrospective, and today I'm going to be looking at version 6.06 Stepper Drake. So when we blow this up and go to full screen, we can see what Ubuntu had to offer at this time. Now, Ubuntu 6.06 is the first of the long-term support releases. Um, basically, releases that are supported for about five years. Um, this was their first attempt at that, and they did a very, very good job with it. I will have to say, this was a very solid system. Anyway, the first word that comes to mind when I look at this now is the word pretty. Yeah, I actually like this wallpaper a lot. Um, you know, it's nice and chocolatey and caramelly. It's like I'm wandering into Willy Wonka's chocolate factory and he's going to tell me that, you know, we're entering a world of pure imagination or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's still very, very brown, but, you know, not as, uh, you know, dull or yucky as um, War to Warthog or pretty much all the wallpapers in between here and then. Um... Anyway, in the um, top panel, we have the Applications menu, and let's look through that. We have the a la carte menu editor, we have the calculator, character map, dictionary, taking a screenshot has been moved here, open up a terminal, open up a text editor, which is very, very nice. In games, we have iRot, Solitaire, Attacks, Blackjack, five or more, four in a row, Free Cell, Gnome Triss, Lango, Klatsky, Ma Young, Mines, Nibbles, Robots, Same Gnome, Tali, and Tetrafex. Very, very nice. I believe that the Diamond uh, game that um, was on the other one has been long since removed from um, Gnome in general, but it really wasn't all that good of a game anyway. Um, anyway, in uh, the graphics section, um, we have the GIMP image editor, which is, I believe, uh, 2. 2.11, I believe. We have GThumb Image Viewer. We have XSAME for scanning images. We, in um, internet, have uh, a Kiko Soft phone. Sorry, my thoughts got a little bit wandery there. Um, we have Evolution Mail. We have Firefox Web Browser, which I do believe is 1.5.5 um, 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 five or something like that. Um, let me go check what this uh, version is. Um, yeah, 1.5.05. Yes, we're cool on that. Got most of the numbers right there. Um, we have uh, Game Instant Messenger. We have Terminal Server Client. Um, very, very basic, very, very good stuff. Um, in Office, we have Evolutions um, Complete uh, suite for personal information management and all that. Um, we have the um, open office suite, most of it. Um, we have databases, presentation, spreadsheet, word processor. And if we open up this, it is version 2.0. Oh, hold on a minute. Dot o two. Yeah, very very nice. Um, we um, have uh, the sound and video menu there. We have uh, Movie Player, Rhythm Box, uh, Audio CD Creator, which is very, very cool, um, Sound Ripper, and a Sound Recorder. Now, we also have the Add Remove program. This was a pretty cool program. Um, um, not as good as, say, Synaptic Package Manager, but it had a lot of um, pretty... Um, things in it. You know, nice looking icons, simplistic um, descriptions of what you're going to be installing. And overall, it did work like Ubuntu Software Center would later on. Um, and it works pretty much like how Synaptic does too. So if we clicked on Apply or OK, we would be installing applications. We could actually, um, you know, apply the changes with that too, but we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to cancel this, um, actually. So hopefully we could uh, get out of this uh, close without applying. Yes, there we go. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, we have the Places submenu in this. Um, we have access to the Home folder. We have the Desktop. We have um, access to the computer itself. CD-DVD creator. Um, network servers. Connect to server. 
search for files, recent documents, that sort of thing. In the system submenu, we have preferences about me, assistive technology, desktop background, which has far more um, options in it. Um, I do like the Dawn of Ubuntu wallpaper, personally. I'm not going to be uh, selecting that because, um, as you can see, it doesn't quite work in VirtualBox for some strange reason. Um, I'm not going to be installing this to just display off the different wallpapers. Um, but at least you have more than just four. You know, you have, um, you know, a couple here and there that you can uh, choose from. Um, like I said, the Dawn of Ubuntu wallpaper is my favorite out of this series, but um, whatever. Um, we have uh, the ability to change the font, keyboard layout, keyboard shortcuts, menus and toolbars, mouse, network proxy, uh, power management, uh, preferred applications, remote desktop, removable drives, um, input method setup uh, with skim. We have uh, screen resolution, we have screen saver, uh, we can change our sessions, uh, change the sound, change the theme, which is, um, by the way, um, this version of the human theme is very, very nice. Um, I do miss this a lot. Um, sure, the newer Ubuntu theme is quite nice in itself, but there's something very visually appealing about this for me. It's not really all that pretty looking when you really, really think about it, but there's something, you know, very simplistic about this. It's so simplistic. But at the same time, it looks, you know, quite presentable. And if you didn't like it, you can actually go back to the legacy um, human theme. And you can actually uh, change the, um, you know, the look of it, you know. So that's uh, very, very nice. We're not going to be changing too much here. Um, I, do, I do really like the theme on this, though. Anyway, um, window properties is the last thing in that menu. Um, in administration, we have uh, device manager, uh, disk management, partition editor because this is a live CD, install because this is a live CD, language support, login window changing, uh, networking, networking tools, printing setup, uh, services, uh, services which one during the setup, uh, shared folder access, uh, software repository properties, um, configure the software properties, of course, uh, yeah, software channels, blah, 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 a synaptic package manager, system log, system monitor, which we go into, and again, this is still quite, quite uh, good at management of memory. Um, you know, again, in 2006 standards, uh, this was um, very, very small on how much um, memory it wanted to have. Uh, very, very, very clean and nice and smooth system overall. Um, barely even taking up a scratch on my hardware. Um, that's for sure. Um, we have the ability to change the time and date update manager, which is very, very good. Um, this actually did have an update notifier. Um, which is a very, very handy feature. It was actually the update notifier that actually got me into using this. Um, the update no notifier was, was very, very user-friendly. The system itself was very user-friendly, so that's why I changed to this. Anyway, we have users and groups um, as the last thing in that. Um, we have the help sub-menu. We have so system documentation, which is very nice. You have online documentation documentation, which is also very nice. Um, we have community support, um, so you can get help from other Ubuntu users. We have commercial support of all things. Um, we have um, pieces from the Ubuntu book, which was very, uh, very, very handy for newcomers to Ubuntu Linux, um, especially since this was the first um, major Linux distribution to be widely, widely popular amongst um, pretty much everyone. You know, yeah, you did have your Red Hats and your um, uh, Mandrivas, but um, basically Ubuntu was trying this uh, whole thing of breaking into the system by, you know, putting a book out and putting c CDs and, and all that out into the market so you could buy one off the internet and try it. Anyway, we have the uh, About Gnome, 
thing, and we have about Ubuntu thing, which is very, very nice. You could learn about your system. Um, very, very handy, very, very good for uh, the newcomer. Anyway, um, finally, and last but not least, is the quit submenu, which is very nice to have. Um, we have a volume control, we have the quick, lock, well, quick launch icons, which I didn't neglect to mention in the last one. Um, yeah, you have um, the ability to drag and drop icons from your menu and put them here, you know, add up, you know, a small amount of um, applications that you use frequently, although this does have a strange habit of moving icons around after a while. And that's why I use the drawer function, which is a little applet you can actually add to the panel. Um, there it is, there's the drawer. I use this uh, quite a lot since I used a lot of applications. Um, actually, you could see that this actually had a lot of um, stuff you could add to the uh, panel. You know, very, very, very many um, features. Um, you don't get this kind of customization, uh, customization in Ubuntu these days. Um, you need to download this app, that, that app, and the other to even get close to this. Which is a very big uh, tragedy in my opinion, and uh, um, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Um, anyway, we have the clock, and we have the shutdown button. Um, anyway, um, my thoughts on Ubuntu 6.06, um, in the end, if I had to give it a ranking of 1 to 10, I would give it a good solid 8. Yeah, quite a change from my last um, review, but that's because this was a really good system. Um, it stood up very, very well. It looked uh, quite nice, I mean, all things considered. Um, sure, not exactly standard the art looking, but it was very clean, very simplistic, and I think that is what really mattered about this uh, release. I think it was the thing that really got me into Ubuntu, that it was simplistic, it was nice and clean looking, um, you know, there wasn't too much um, going on at this time, you know, in terms of, um, you know, a lot of pretty fancy effects and pretty user interfaces. Um, yeah, you did have your Mac OS X's out there, but Windows Vista was uh, pretty much brand new um, coming out. And um, that would be a total failure, as everybody would know. Um, uh, Vista would come out, I think, the year after this was released. But, um, yeah, in terms of looks, this doesn't look that pretty, but you could change up this whole thing to make it look as pretty and nice as you want to. And that's the nice thing about the classic Ubuntu's, is that you can customize the heck out of them. You don't get this kind of less, um, this um, kind of um, customization these days. It, it, it is a big tragedy in that regard. But anyway, yeah, um, Ubuntu 6.06, very, very good release. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll be coming back tomorrow. I'll be looking at um, perhaps my favorite version of Ubuntu in general, which is uh, um, 8.04. Um, Hardy Heron, which is uh, something I will comment on quite a lot. Anyway, I'll be seeing you again tomorrow, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye, and see you then.